When you see a booth from a company called Barnacle Systems, this is not, by the way, the uh, the smart lobster trap we saw. This is a completely different business. I'm with Brandon Wright, and you've got something for boats. Yeah, that's right. We've got a security and monitoring product for boats. So it's like a smart home for your boat. So you can monitor the critical systems on board your vessel, get alerts from uh, intruders, from bilge pumps. So being able to monitor whether your boat's safe and secure remotely from so your smart The bilge pumps kick, kicks off. By the way, for those who don't know what a bilge pump is, the bilge is the area under, down below where the water goes when things are not going well. I mean, yep. you might get a little bit of water in your bilge. Yep. You got a little bilge pump for that. You don't want a lot of water That's in the bilge. Right. Yeah, so we actually saved our first boat from sinking with our product where they were getting frequent bilge alerts, where they were pumping a lot of water off the boat. They lived four hours away from their vessel, oh so they goodness. called the marina, and then the marina folks went on board and confirmed, like, yes, your boat's trying to sink itself. <laughs> and they managed to patch it up on the spot and uh, wow. save the $250,000 beautiful sailboat. Oh, so. yeah. If it were a power boat, I wouldn't have really minded, but it's a sailboat. You yeah, know, yeah. That's just, that's just I can't discriminate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> All right, so uh, I see several different products here. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Why don't, you, why don't you tell us yeah, about this? Yeah, so this is the barnacle here. So this is what you'd place on your boat. And uh, it connects to these wireless sensors. And so, I'm going to describe this too because this is audio as well as video. But yeah. we've got a, a thing maybe about, uh, what do you say, that maybe four or five inches tall, a yep. couple right. of three inches wide, yeah, three and a half just inches a flat, wide. flat plate. Yeah. So you put that on the boat. Yep, that's correct. And uh, the industrial design of it, it has small facets on it. And those were actually designed by a Dyson engineer. So one oh, of their industrial nice. designers, so that nice. was really cool. Does it matter where that goes on the boat? Just fling it into a bunk? Typically, you'd place it uh, behind your helm, and that's okay. where you have all your existing connections. So an installation normally takes about two hours, and you're just stealing the small connections off the inside of your helm. So oh, okay. you're not wiring all the way through your boat. So boats are quite complicated, right. typically, inherently. But now, with our wireless sensors, so we've got a suite of sensors here, where we now integrate with the smart home products. So we've just launched uh, with Smart Things the Samsung products. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you can now integrate your Samsung Smart Things into your into the boat. So now instead of spending 2 hours on a install with wires, you can do one basic install in about 15 minutes by throwing these wireless sensors throughout your boat. Nice. So I see a, wa a water leak sensor, a multi-purpose sensor, and a motion sensor. Yeah. So the motion sensor is looking for the boats moving, and there's no big storm coming in. That's yeah. probably somebody walking around. And that's yeah. That's primarily for security, for sure. So yeah. detecting presence of people on board. The multi-purpose sensor is an accelerometer and a door sensor, all built into one. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then uh, the water leak sensor detects uh, water where it's not supposed to be. So areas, things like that. Right, right. The bunks. You yeah, don't want water. Right. I hate when that happens. Absolutely, absolutely. And you've also got a key fob here and a key yep. pad, and they've yep. got a bunch of fun buttons on them. What are those for? That's right. So uh, a lot of folks, they'll have other visitors to their boat. So uh, it's very common that you'd find a marine electrician coming on board or a yacht monitoring provider come on board. So being able to disarm the system when you get onto the boat is critical. Let's I, uh, I mean, I hate to suggest, but the guy that uh, or woman that comes to scrape the barnacles off the bottom. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. See how, see how yeah, it just yeah. brought it all together It's beautiful. There? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But you would want them to be able to put in a code to, to yep. disable, disable the sensors it. and yeah. then re-enable it? Absolutely, okay. yeah. And then yeah. what's the key fob for? Yep, so that's, uh, you'd have that to just simply disarm the boat when you get to the vessel. So instead oh, okay. of having a siren go off when you get on board, uh, something like that, you can arm and disarm the entire security system on your boat. So is it is there an app to, to yeah. that goes along with this? Absolutely. Well? Yeah, we can describe it Why to you, you as show well that to the camera here yeah so this is actually my boat floating in uh, Vancouver British Columbia nice. and so we're monitoring my batteries my bilge pump pitch heel and impact which that's from an accelerometer telling me what the waves are doing from the boat oh, so wow. there, yeah so if there's a storm you can actually get a notification that your boat's healing or pitching too much but what's critical here is the GPS so you can put an anchor alert around your boat and get a notification if your boat floats outside of that geofence. Which also, could be theft or could be a dragging anchor. Absolutely, so uh, the whole product was built after my boat floated from that position there to that position there on the beach three years ago. And my background- I hate when that happens. Yeah, it was, 
3 a.m. It was it's a like bad the, day. Yeah, it was that dark and stormy night. Got the phone call from my parents that your boat's on the beach. In my background, I developed security systems for royal families in the Middle East and for the borders of countries. And so it was very embarrassing for me to get a notification from my folks that my boat had broken moorage when my whole career was protecting assets. So yeah, built the product in response to that. So how is it getting the, uh, the voltage on the battery? So we tie that directly in behind the helm to that's the battery. A, that's a 15 minute install part. That's, yeah, oh absolutely, yeah, super quick. Yep, two wires, you're done. Yeah. This is very cool. So um, is this product available now? It is, yeah. We've had it out for about three years. The integration with the wireless sensors is brand new as of today. Um, and hot yeah. off the presses. Do you hear that, yeah, people? Yeah, hot off the press. That's right. And uh, yeah, the and this year we actually caught our first burglar on a boat in France. And then we protected uh, that one sailboat from sinking. So yeah, it's been a very exciting year with actually great user experience cases. So, so where would somebody go to find, uh, find these devices? Yeah, so online, primarily at barnacle.io, that's B-R-N-K-L.io, nice. and then, uh, yeah, absolutely. Everything good is at .io, by the way. There's always yeah. cool stuff at that's .io. Right. That's right, it's .Indian Ocean, so it's very appropriate for us. Oh, that's where it comes from. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. And uh, what kind of price point are we talking about? This is like $12,000? No, no, so uh, the base unit uh, here is $1,250, but we do offer a $299 solution that's for just on your boat without remote monitoring. Okay, yeah. very good. And uh, so we know where it's from and uh, it's available today. That's Thank right. you very much. This yeah. is great. This yeah. is great. I like the idea of saving boats. Thank you. My pleasure.